All right, so maybe you work in business, maybe you work in marketing, uh, but either way, you've done some Excel work, you've made some uh, statistical analysis, maybe done some visualizations, some charts, things like that, but you're looking for a better way to gather information from some of the sources that are available online and save that into a file that you can open in Excel and do some uh, analysis on. And there's tons of free data on the internet you're not sure how to get connected to that. So in this tutorial, I will show you how to do it as quickly and as efficiently as possible. And it's really gonna take uh, your skills to the next level, make you very valuable to the company that you work for, or maybe help you get a job that you're trying to, to land. But uh, it's asking for maybe some more advanced capabilities than what you currently have. Uh, what we're gonna do is use a software or a programming language called Python and Python is a simple and free programming language that anyone can use, including you. And I'll show you how it works, uh, how to install it, how to use it, and um, how to do some really neat things with it. Now, we're also going to use a program called PyCharm, which I already have installed. Uh, PyCharm is not free, but you do get a 30-day trial for free. And if you're a student, you can get a one-year academic license for free. Uh, so just use PyCharm for this when you get started and once you're comfortable with how everything works if you want to switch to a different uh, you know Python editor then that's fine uh, so to begin just type in Python into Google click on the download link for Python and choose the version 3.5.1 or whatever the recent most recent version of Python is when you're running uh, through this on your own so we'll download the program, open it, and we're going to get a couple of options here. There's a few things that you have to do. First, you have to check this, this box that says Add Python 3.5 to Path. Do not forget to do this, okay? Once that's checked, click Custom Installation, and make sure everything's checked here. Hit Next. Hit Install for all users. Check that box change this location to just Python 3.5 like that okay this is the easiest way to do it it'll make your life easier down the road so follow these steps make sure this is the right location that it's added to your path it's installed for all users and hit install while that's going go to Google search for PyCharm Go to the download link, download and install the professional version of PyCharm. Now I already have it on here, so we're gonna skip past that, but it's very straightforward. Again, you get a 30 day trial, and if you are a student, you can get a one year academic license for free. So we'll come back once that's complete and everything is done, and we'll pick up from there. You should have Python and PyCharm installed at that point. 